Hey, let me type a bit. And in this video, I just want to touch on several bit workflow commands to help you better structure your code and implementation. Now, as you remember here, we have several components with their environment, and there are several lifecycle commands that are very relevant to understand. First of all, if needed, you can always, to just run local compilation for your code, you can run the bit compile command. Bit compile will call the compile function for each component. So if you have components from different environments with different stacks, with different TS config or Babel RC, bit will know to compile each component correctly and put the local disks inside your node modules. This is a very quick command to run this. If you need to compile a component on every code change, what you can do is just use the bitwatch command. Bitwatch waits for changes in files and let's add like a blank line here, save. And we see that we now quickly compiled my first component. Let's remove that, save again, compile again. Second command I want to touch is bit test. Depending on your testing tool of choice for each component, running bit test will run the test suit for each component. In this case, we have three components, right? We have our environment that does not have tests, and we do have our first and second component that both of them has tests using just. So bit test run those tests for us. We can also run those tests in watch mode by running bit test dash dash watch, and you get the same experience for testing in a watch mode. Okay, first of all, bit will run questions, and then we have just running. We can use it to our best intentions. Another command that we often use to make sure code fits are standard is running code formatting tools. In this case, our environment uses Prettier. So in order to run our Prettier implementation here, we can just run bit format and bit will run Prettier on each component to fix anything according to the rules of file, as you see here. Another thing we can always do alongside running formatting, there is obviously linting. So bitlint is the command of choice to run all of your linting. Uh, it goes to each component. For each component, it uses the specific ESLint RC configuration and types of configuration to make sure they are all compatible with your implementation. As you see here, we actually have several errors here. I'm not going to touch them, so let's continue on to our next command. Another command, uh, obviously, in your modern IDEs, you have language services to help you with TypeScript typing. But if needed, you can always run bit, check types, and bit will run complete TypeScript validation for all of your code. And as you see here, I found a few issues in my implementation. Don't worry about it too much. It's not relevant for us in this case. Besides these very specific commands that on tools we're all used to, there is a few other commands we'll go quickly over in our next video. Primarily bit status, as bit status helps us understand component isolation, which is a key feature for bit components to make sure they are completely reusable in other projects. Thank you.